Yo, hello, this is episode 32 of FBL Top Dogs, and I'm totally smithereened. We had the work do. Uh, two managers left the company, so we, you know, I've had about seven or eight. Um, I don't know what I'm at, but just getting something out there. And um, it's, I'm not going to be of any use to you guys, uh, whatever, tonight. Um, I'm not, I, I'm go- I don't think I'm going to do anything myself. I can't be bothered. I'll just let things roll. It's St. George's Day tomorrow anyway, and um, should be fun popping down to Rise Slip, watching the, the Mayo Hurlers, or um, load of our top dogs, resident top dogs, FPL top dogs, Benny Hollis, will be playing and in and around the match day squad tomorrow here in Rise Slip in London, where I am going to pop down and have a good beer, but I've already bet the guys to it. Um, you know, you have to have a send off for the, the managers and have a, a catch up. And um, yeah, it should be fun in Rice Slip tomorrow. So, St. George's Day tomorrow. And uh, yeah, okay, 11 o'clock. So, am I going to do anything? I doubt it. I was mooting Chelsea and United, but who wants to have any United assets now? You want to have your head examined to have any United assets whatsoever. Um, okay, Chelsea have fallen by the wayside, but that 4 2, Chelsea have nothing to play for. They're, they're out of Champions League, they're out of all the Cups and blah, blah, blee, and they're five points ahead of Tottenham and Arsenal. And if they don't watch it, they, they, they may lose that third spot because Arsenal, maybe Arsenal, I have no fucking idea, boys and girls. You know, maybe Man United will get that top four. Maybe Chelsea will drop to the fifth. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a total joke. And will will Rhys James play all the games? Will he play every single game going? You know, Aswella Cheka, Alonso, Sar, Chaloba. You know, who else do you want? Rudiger is injured now. Um, and the other dude, Christiansen. You know, how many of these guys are going to play? Who is going to play? The only dead cert at the moment is Werner. But, you mean, Lukaku's not even getting a look in. So uh, and take that one. You know, Werner, 8.6 million or something. That, that's that's crazy to, um, you know, I, I don't even think you start all the games. So, it looks like I'll have to um, let United and Chelsea go, roll the transfer and go all in for game week 36. Um, well, Dela are no great shakes. Um, they've been doing jack shit, really. And um, Southampton have fallen again by the wayside. They're up and down. Um, Brighton seems to be the, the team of the team of the moment. Um, anyone with Brighton assets in the fence have been mopping it up. So it's not a lot really to say on my, my stance here. Rid of Trent Alexander-Arnold and uh, throw in Reese James, but I'm thinking that he will only play one game anyway. Um, I, I don't I, I don't know. And no Salah now in, in the last game week has been a, a big bang, uh, 268,000. Now I've been doing videos here all year and uh, this this is where, you know, this is this is where I'm at, 268,000. It's not the, the, you know, it's not, it's not an absolute total disgrace. Um, guys, it's not a total disgrace. I've been, I've shown you all what I'm doing, what the guys are doing. But no, no input from the guys. Mainly, there's not a massive amount of like we used to have the season before with input from the other dudes. Um, it's only what I'm doing, so I'm showing the whole carry on what I'm doing in the FPL. And uh, sure, sure, I'm at a disadvantage, so I, I don't care anyway. I, I have a a root and I have a plot and I have. Um, a way of navigating my team um, that I will stick through. And I don't need to, I, although I do watch a lot of the influencers like Andy and um, FPL Mate and Scout and uh, a few others, it's just for a bit of crack and just to rhyme a, root, a few ideas. But these guys, they, they don't really influence what I'm going to do at the end of the day. If they did, I wouldn't have Tarkovsky there. Uh, Rafinha will be gone a couple of game weeks ago. Um, you know, the, Carlson was what I had him before people were talking about him. Now everybody's going to have Carlson in now uh, because he's got two double game weeks coming up. So uh, that will be my, you know, me. That, that's the way it goes. It's it's really cutthroat in FPL. Um, so I'm only going to gear up on, you know, for game week 36. I've only got a bench boost. So, um, you know, uh, you can't see my. 
amateur dramatics with the, the hands here, but um, yeah, it's a, a bit totally, I'm not totally pissed off because I have 68,000 places to negotiate to get beneath that top 200K and that's, that's the massive driving force. Probably not going to win anything in the Christy Nicholson League. Um, it's an awful shame again. Last year, I won nothing either. Um, it's really strange. I'm used to winning a trophy here and there, usually every year. But the standard's gone up massively now. And uh, fair dues to uh, the Guinness guru. Well, you know, he's took on my name there, the, the guru, and he's proven to be the guru this season. Um, and that's Connor Hussey, uh, the Hussmeister. Um, and we have uh, Joy Neenan. Obviously, I'm sick of, you know, we're all saying 70, 70, 79th in the world last year and a, a great pedigree in FPL. Uh, and we have Stephen Stratton all in the second, which he's doing really well. I mean, no chips and he's still plugging away. And an 84 is phenomenal. Medicine, bad call. Um, I've captured Madison this week and it was a bad call. I thought he'd do something, but he didn't start he, the other day and um, he didn't get the benefit of a double game week. Barron's a great call. Um, that was the call. So he's gone all in on Leicester. What's this? Yeah, so two Leicester there. Rudiger is injured now. He probably won't start. So any everyone in the top 10 in the Christy Nicholson have Salah. I had Mane to cover Salah, but I went, uh, you know, you mean I have to take chances here. I went all in on Salah and Spurs. So that's that's my, you know, nail on the cross there. Um, and I'll have to hope, I'll have to see what they do against Liverpool and Arsenal. And um, just double cap and just hope and pray that Spurs become a good team overnight, which they won't, of course. Um, yeah, for me, it's all about getting a couple of more City in. I definitely want another City defender. Uh, City aren't free scoring anymore. De Bruyne, thank God. I, I had him in for a while, but thank God I don't have De Bruyne anymore. He's a waste of time. He's too much money. Um, uh, Folden, okay, could be the option there to get in. Could be the value guy to get in. Um, yeah, Adrian Phillips doing very well. Martinelli, bad call. He's got rid of Barnes there. Doherty, fair enough. Cancel. Everyone needs to cancel up. In that show, I think he's false. Um, um, you know, look, who was talking about Eddie and Ketia before what he did against Chelsea there? So come on, I don't blame anybody. That, that's a massive mega call if you got Enketia in. Uh, but in that show, it would be the oh well, I just look this Luckman. Luckman is the guy there, isn't he? Um, he's the guy that's going to get the goals for Leicester. Um, that DACA is a waste of time, rubbish. Um, so, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Fifth, uh, okay, 50 odd points behind Adrian Phillips. He's got a bench boost. So, he, he's looking for able to finish fourth and, and for the, the last trophy spot there. Um, all, I, all at the moment I'm doing is trying to hang above uh, Kieran Longdog, um, aka 47 Kylie. And um, Fergie, Fergie, you know, Fergie was a phenomenal season all season. Um, something like 14, 15 game weeks in a row on top. And uh, he's the great guns for a reason. And he is, had a phenomenal season. It's shocking um, that he, he's taken massively serious. And maybe with the whole institution of top dogs, he's, he's um, basically, you know, bought into the whole thing. And that's what top dogs is all about. For me, it's about to get the guys in and around town uh, to take it a bit more serious, and um, let's all you know, you know, let's all support each other, you know, and finish the best we can be. Uh, the top ten, of course, will get the hats for the season. I have the hats; they're in my wife's handbag. You, everybody from last year will have the hats. Fact. Um, I'm serious about the. I'm serious about top dogs. I, lo I love the thing, but um, you know, I'm not totally defeatist now. Fifth is very honourable position to be in the Christy Nick. It's not to be sniffed at, um, but I don't want to finish fifth. It's a bit like 
Um, you know, Chris Tarrant and Who Wants to Be Millionaire. Um, yeah, you have fifth, but we don't want to give you that. You know, that's that's my philosophy with uh, FPL and Top Dogs. Is that you mean if I'm fifth, I don't want to be fifth. I want to be four. If I'm not, if I'm fourth, I don't want to be four. I want to be third, and vice versa. It's just um, look, look. Joey is in in a great, a hundred percent brilliant position. Um, I think he's still got the free hit. And um, no, I think he's got the wild card and bench boost less left, if I had to guess. Uh, Strett has got nothing left. Um, I think connor has got something left. I think he's got a bench boost. He's got connor has got something left. I think maybe if he hasn't, he should have. But I, I know that uh, Starman's got a bench boost. I have. So it's going to be really, really tricky to finish above there. He's done well this week. Salah destroyed me here. You know, Salah was the one that got all the points. He finally, Salah scored and did something. And of course, it would be, have to be against United. Um, he's done bits and pieces, but, he, you know, the last 10 game weeks, he's not really assist here, goal there. But for the likes of Salah, you want to be scoring two here, one there, a couple of assists. Keep it all rolling. Like, but um, yeah, top scorer of the season. Yeah, brilliant, phenomenal. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, it's not done and dusted yet. Game week 33, uh, 34 to come, and uh, enough of uh, your waffling. So let's see what I did with the old uh, the video. I did a little bit of video, nothing much. It's just too much time. It's occasion to to kind of figure out and work it out. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best video of the whole world, um, but basically it's just the um, all I wanted to do is emphasize, uh, emphasize the the mock up. Um, it's great to get a mock up done. I had two mock ups done. The other mock up was um, maybe maybe I have it saved on Biteable. I don't know, but this is the first mock up, and it will come up in a minute. Basically, it's the uh, the three amigos, the three protagonists here on the top uh, who are duking it out for the amazing title for the Christy Nicholson FPL Top Dogs League. Um, great history, going since 2012. Well, 13-14 um, when I won it. Then John Kelly took over, So, uh, and, and the rest is history. So there's a good bit of history according to us. As you can see, the top three here. Uh, okay, um, Starman has still got a shout. Um, he's still hanging about. He's a dark horse. But the, the top three here, they're, they're the ones we have to consider and they have six game weeks to run well, you know, five, five, but some of them have double game weeks. So there's still a massive amount to play for here. Um, so the, well, yeah, the mock-up. Um, no, that's not going to work. Um, yeah, double click on that. The three phantom menaces. That's what I'm trying to say. Connor Hussey, um, Joey Commando Neenan, and uh, Stephen Stratford Nolan. Yeah, the other the other mock up was the man. Here you go, uh, Connor Hussey here and um, Joey Neenan, uh, last year's winner, and uh, Stephen Strat, and this is the Phantom Menace when the three of them are fighting um, in the energy shield and uh, Keegan, um, Keegan, which is, uh, you know, a Keegan, and that's all be one there. And the Sith, no, no, don't worry, Joy. You know, love you the bits, Joy. It's just that you're the winner. You're the guy we have to all take down, and you're the standard. So come on. Um, the Sith, the Sith is a phenomenal Dude, you know how you can have two shields there and to fight off two guys is phenomenal. So uh, this is the mock-up. Stevie Strett and the Hussmeister fight commando in the Christy Nick endgame here. The three Phantom Menaces. So that's the mock-up for the game week. Uh, I have another mock-up there, the man, the golden gun. Um, 
basically, uh, that's just the the king of the travers. Um, probably no, probably can't really. I could I, I could do that's the biteable. Um, it just take ages to get up there, but I'll, I'll show it again. It's the man, the golden gun, and the two of them are in a duel. And I've got um, the long dog, Kylie, holding one gun. And I've got um, Connor Hussey holding the other gun. And it's basically a shootout between the two of them. So this is a phenomenal se season shaping up for uh, Connor Hussey. And, um, you know, Kieran Kylie will want to win a trophy in the uh, King of the Travellers. He deserves something anyway after this season. He's had it's phenomenal. Just have to have fair kudos to most of these guys here, all the way down to probably the, you know, the last 20 or so that they've really, you know, copped on. They've really been, like you, you know, Keith Robinson is still plugging away. He's still doing transfers. He's still, you know, keeping in the game. And, you know, I hope one day Keith Robinson will win the Christy Nicholson. I know he has the, the talent and pedigree too. Um you know, just to win it once, you know, win it one year. You know, like Kevin Kilbride down here, you know, and he's still, he's got Coutinho, like, and I, I, I see he's got Coutinho, he's got all his villa, he's got all his villa are very early, uh, the Guru Killer. You know, so he's keeping on top of it. If you look at that team, there's not so much really bad or wrong with it. Um, apart from Mo Pai there and Dennis, you know, okay, Rudiger's got a goal. Uh, fair enough. Sat isn't very sexy anymore. He got nothing in there. If he's got a bench boost, well, a seer is not what you want to have. Um, looking at that, you know, Salah, he's got Salah. That's that's a good team, and that will make a lot of points against me. I know it would. But, um, you know, just, just emphasizing the fact that, you know, there's a loads of guys still even down the top 30, you know, top 30. They're making transfers and they're doing bits and pieces to see. John Kelly's been very active. And I'm sure, you know, for John Kelly is to get in the over 2,000 points minimum. Um, look, why not? It's a, it's a game. It's a bit of fun. Um, okay, Madison was a big letdown for myself. Really disappointed. He should have scored. He is crazy how he's missed an open goal. The other night, it's and that's that's why I am where I am, and that's why other people are where they are. the The goals go in for the other people. Rick Carlson, fair enough, great. I I, I think Rick Carlson is that. I, I think I I I'd have no problem in captaining the Rick Carlson for the end of the season. Um, although he's missed loads of chances there the other day, and he managed to get that last minute chance for Everton. Um, to get that one one the other day, but he should have had two or three or four in that game. Didn't put them away. He put one away, but that's not good enough. The likes of Ronaldo, he puts all his chances away. He puts his free kicks away. He puts... So yeah, Ronaldo is a massive differential. Um, I wouldn't mind having Ronaldo, but then again, I got Harry Kane, so um, I'm limited in my transfers. Um, so, so the likes of these dudes, they will probably outscore and do better. They'll probably make a lot of points against me, but I'll probably limp, limp in the top six or seven. Um, but I should make the top ten anyway. Um, Morgan in nine hundred ninety nine, um, he's still clipping away. Most, most people are clipping away. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, another look at this. Yeah, might as well have another look at this anyway. It's hilarious. <laughs> I try my best. I think I, I think um Connor Huss is brilliant there, but he doesn't have that angry face. If you can see that Joey Nina's got that real proper season look, you know, he, he's seen all this shit before. And um, you know, Strett is just in it for the ride, he's really having a good time. And but this is the this is the game face you want. And uh, you can see Connor is just happy enough to be where he is, um, or he's undaunted. So this is Kiguan, and this is all big one Kenobi, and this is the Sith. And oh, you know, no offense to Joy, as I said before, Joy's won it before, done the whole lot. Great guy, he's one of our own, and he's a proper proper. It's hard; it's just nearly impossible to do this guy. Um, but listen, we're happy he's in our league, and. Um, a lot, you know, in the Christie Nicholson, this is his home league. 
whatever and the money goes for it money is on money's on the table for this stuff um so it's all the play for only five points there between Strett and um and joy you know joy's played the chip now so he's got a couple so he's you know they're still in the game the three you know the two amigos the two phantom menaces here connor huss and steven Strett. they're they're still in it really there's nothing in it too much and i think Starman is still in there um look yeah it's not impossible well um, 70 70 points it's not it's not impossible we'll have a good bench boost there um I'm kind of in a bit of no man's land. Uh, so, yeah, that's said more or less all I want to say about uh, whatever. Just want to get something out there quick, just in case somebody wants to take anything about. And the game's coming forward. Um, I, again, in my opinion, United away to Arsenal and a home to Chelsea. They could get slaughtered against Chelsea. Chelsea are just way head and shoulders above superior to United at the moment. It depends on what sort of team. If they throw out Sar again and Chalaba, um, it just shows to me, I mean, United could win that game. You know, it's just all about ambition. Ch Chelsea have nothing to play for, but they you mean if I really don't know where I don't know where Chelsea are going. They have to wait for a new owner. They have to wait for a new raison diet. Who's coming in? Who's staying? What's the budget? What's the UK government in regard to Chelsea and their policy? Um, will Obranovich finally get Chelsea sold? Uh, there's a loss still to play for. Alonso now uh, leaves the life. Uh, they still got Thiago Silva there. Uh, still got some massive quality. They got loads of guys that will probably stay on with Chelsea no matter what. Uh, I can't see anyone moving on apart from Lukaku. Um, Maybe Kante might move on. I don't know. There may be one or two transfers out of that team just for a last hurrah and get big money. But um, look, the, the future looks good with Loftus-Cheek and Havertz for oh, Havertz. They, they, they have a good future ahead. So they, they could beat United easing down. Um, Pogba now is looking for a move. There's bad empathy at United at the moment. So... I'm not sure even if taking a minus four to get Fernandez in. Um, Arsenal would be buoyed now with that Chelsea result. It's all about form and um, I, I think it's, well, I, will, I would leave it my, my best. All season, it's all about the single game weekers. Uh, the double game weeks are flatter to deceive. Um, they've done all their ruction in the first game and not played the other game and I think it's fool's goal and false. Um, yeah, that, that's it. But anyone in the top 10K or 50K, they will want to, to get on board with Reese James. And they'll want to probably take a chance on Werner or somebody or whoever or getting Mendy and just get those 10 to 15 points they, they, they need to guarantee to because they're going for the overall. Um, that game with 35 is just damn squib. It's just same old thing. So um, I don't know if I'll do it. I got one free transfer and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm too drunk. Uh, I can't think. Um, I got the the game tomorrow now with the lads. Uh, it would just me. I have one eye for setting something up and getting more Villa in for game with 36. I got too much Leicester as it is. Uh, Madison's been a massive disappointment again. Um, and you got uh, Mo Salah against Everton. But can I trust Everton to keep the score down? Um, and Liverpool need the points. They're going for the championship. They're going for the on four fronts. Uh, Man City against Watford well, should be winning hand down cantering. Is there? Uh, I could get in Laporte. Um, City, Ma apart from Mares, that's it really with um, Man City. But will he start now after he started the other day? I'm just, I'm just sick of it all. I really am I'm sick of the. Will City this start? It's all fucking mind games. The whole thing is mind games, and who will start? Um, I got Tony. Will, will I start? 
uh, Ivan Tony now against Spurs, and will he score a hat trick? He's got one game. Um, or, or will I get Ilanga for United um, and get rid of Tony? That, that that could be a thing. Just captain Ilanga, um, and and hope and pray for a miracle. I don't know. I'm I'm considering Ilanga. Um, West Ham are no uh, are no joke. They're a pretty solid team. They won't cave in against Chelsea, and then Chelsea go away to you know. So listen, whatever you fancy, whatever you want to do, great. And uh, Newcastle look interesting and, and tasty, especially that Bruno G. Oh, uh, Guterres. Um, my God, I would love to have Bruno G. But this, uh, that that ship has kind of sailed for the season. Uh, Newcastle have no doubles, and um, yeah, it's really all about making sure you have some of these dudes doubling up here. Uh, loads of people are getting in Pookie. I, I don't know why. I don't. I don't. I don't fancy Pookie at all against even you know against Leicester or go for it. Um, for me, the the doubles are a false economy. So um, the the bench boost in this uh, double game week, I'll just make sure I have. Total 100%, 15 players that I can trust that will start both games. Uh, and that, yeah, that's why I probably won't get any Chelsea in. Um, I might get Elanga in if I get anything. Uh, this tyranny can't do anything with them. Um, Tony, although I have in some sort of allegiance with Spurs at the moment, do I really want to see Tony score a hat trick against Spurs uh, over in Bramford? Maybe not. So I might just transfer in Alanga and captain him and just who care. But then again, Ronaldo's back. You know, he's he's had this terrible loss. He'll be starting. Will Alanga get the two games? I don't don't think so. So that's probably gone. So um yeah, happy enough for the Leicester and the Everton. I'll keep it going and uh see sorry, see where we finish at the end. And uh, leave it at that. As I said, in the King of the Travellers, it's all, you know, Conor Hussey and, uh, and uh, Kieran Kiley, gone, great guns for that. Um, should be fine. And uh, tomorrow night, we've got Fury versus Dillian White, which should be, um, you know, a rumble in the jungle um, in Wembley. And Kieran Kiley, 78 uh, against Conor. And it's a bit too far back for Stephen Strett, who's had a terrific season. He's the our, our, um, expert in regard to the, the fancy draft. And uh, Kieran, uh, Sean, Sean Gilday there, of course. But I, I really, it's these two here. Um, yeah, so that's another trophy there. So it should it should go between the, either or. And um, yeah, that's the crack there. That's all I want to say about the whole lot. Uh, get a bit of sleep. At least I got something out there. It's 10 to 11. I don't expect anybody to see this. It, the whole game will be done and dusted soon. Everybody will have made their choices. So um, take care. God bless. And um, yeah, top dogs out.